when you know Steiner, you have the answers to the test, but you have to then figure out the details. In 1918, after the um, uh, huge, biggest pandemic, the Spanish flu pandemic of 1918, Steiner was asked, what was this all about? And he said, well, viruses are simply excretions of a toxic cell. Viruses are pieces of DNA or RNA with a few other proteins. They butt out from the cell. They happen when the cell is poisoned. They are not the cause of anything. And the first way I would encourage you to think about this is if you are a famous dolphin doctor, right, and you have been studying dolphins in the Arctic Circle for hundreds of years, or at least a long time, and the dolphins were fine. And then they call you up, Fred, all the dolphins, or a lot of the dolphins are dying in the Arctic Circle. Can you come and investigate? Right? And you have one question to ask. So, show of hands, how many of you would say, I want to investigate a dolphin to see the genetic makeup of that dolphin? Nobody, because that's stupid. How many of you would say, I want to see if this dolphin and that dolphin has a virus because it might be contagious and that's why all these dolphins are getting sick? That fellow. How many of you would say, excuse my French here, somebody put some shit in the water here? <laughs> like Exxon Valdez? Anybody? Everybody. Because that's what happened and the cells get poisoned, they try to purify themselves by excreting debris, which we call viruses. If you, if you go to the current theory of viruses called exosomes and the latest head of the NIH giving a talk on the complexity of viruses, you will see this is perfectly in line with the current thinking on what a virus really is. I had a dramatic example of this when I was growing up. Out, right outside our house, there was a wetlands. And they were full of frogs, and the frogs kept me up at night, so I taped the windows, and they were, in the spring, it was, they made a big racket. And then over time, the frogs were all gone. How many thinks the virus, the frogs had a genetic disease? How many thinks the, vi the frogs had a virus? How many thinks somebody put DDT into the water? That's what happened. Diseases are poisoning. It's one of the reasons why vaccines... So, let me skip that for a minute. So what happened in 1918? There was a huge... In every, every pandemic in the last 150 years, there was an, a quantum leap in the electrification of the Earth. In 1918, late, uh, late fall of 1917, there was the introduction of radio waves around the world. Whenever you expose any biological system to a new electromagnetic field, you poison it, you kill some, and the rest go into a kind of suspended animation so that, interestingly, they live a little bit longer and sicker. 